What's up, Sagittarius Nation? Okay, Sag, this is going to be your love and life message for the week of March 4th. I'm sorry I'm a little late in posting it. I couldn't post it last night or this morning because anytime I sat down to try to do a message for you, there was loud construction going on right outside of my home. So I'm a little late in the delivery. I apologize. But here we are. So this is good for any of your placements in Sagittarius. As always, keep in mind, it's a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone that watches. There could be role reversal happening as well. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Libra. Do not let the name fool you. I read for Sagittarius here on this channel too. Just you guys, Libra and Sag. If you want to see my readings for all 12 zodiac signs, Hop on over to my other channel called Soma Chandra Tarot. Subscribe to both of my channels and hit the bell so you, so you know when I read for you and give you messages on both channels. Link to my website for private readings is down in the description below. I am going to do an extended reading if you feel like you need the extended. It will be at the top of the description below. All right, Sag, let's begin. Sagittarius, the beginning of March, you are very industrious. You are working hard and getting it done. I see a lot of productive energy for you this week. Don't forget to look up at all of your accomplishments, but I love it because in true Sagittarius form, you guys are like in your laboratory, at the drawing board, working hard, being experimental, getting it done. And I think you're gonna be recognized and rewarded this week for what you bring to the table. I think other people are gonna be impressed by the work that you're doing. And in true Sag form, you're focused on solutions and you're ignoring problems. But I gotta tell you, Sag, other people around you are not focused on the same things you are. As a matter of fact, the energy that I picked up around you looks a little fearful and insecure. You might not be on the same page as everybody you're involved with this week. So be aware of that. Things are not as they seem. There is some illusion at play for the folks around you. I definitely see someone around you that's struggling and they're just not about solutions quite the way you are, but we'll get into that. So first of all, I don't even know where to start here. They wanted me to pull out the life coaching oracle deck for you, which I love, love. I love what came out. Career transition. Your soul is yearning for a career aligned with passion and purpose. Core values came out, number 15. Follow your heart and make your, your values a priority. Education came out as well. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Creative projects is at the bottom of the deck. It's a catalyst or a challenge. It's time to get things done. Make your creative projects a priority right now. Your overall energy over here, outside of what happens this week, you are definitely in alignment with this. I think some of you guys already know that you have to be up to a challenge and you know that focusing on, like making your creativity and your creative projects a focus for you at this time is the true catalyst for change. And that's what I see you focusing on. Some of you are in the role of a teacher or you are in the role of a student this week. You did throw the magician in your overall energy. We'll get to that in a bit. And what I love about the magician is that he sees himself as a student as well as a teacher to other people because he demonstrates something. He's working through a process. He's working with the elements. So. You might be learning quite a bit right now, like self-education through trial and error. And what you might not realize is other people are observing you and watching you do that. I think you're making some people nervous, but that's not your problem. That's their problem. Like, so education is a focus for you, learning and teaching. It's super important to focus on your core values. Some of you are looking for a career in transition or there's something that is in transition about career for you. Mm hmm. I think you're very experimental right now, but not to the point where you're going to drift away from your core values, core values, and being in alignment with your own spiritual philosophies and your own education is always important to Sagittarius because you rule the ninth house. And that's what you do. You're amazing in that way. So you're really rising above so much this week. This is your advice from spirit. And I think the energy that you're going to be in, especially if you follow the advice, rise above it. It is not yours to carry. You are an empath right now. How can you detach from drama? <laughs> so there is drama around you that you just need to rise above. Don't confuse your feelings with other people's feelings and vice versa. You might... 
it might do you a bit of good to like tap in for a second because in general you look busy kind of you actually look a little overwhelmed but like you're keeping all your balls in the air your executive function is going to be really high this week but what ends up happening when you're super focused on your stuff and what you're doing is that you're maybe like you're feeling some stuff around you, but you're not tapping into it. Take a minute to look up and check in with the people in your life that you care about, but don't do it to the point where you're like consumed by their feelings. Like don't carry other people's burdens for them. Like expect them to communicate with you. It's okay to expect people to adult around you, right? and let them express themselves. Just rise above it. You don't need to feel other people's feelings for them. If they want to communicate their feelings to you, they need to do so. Also, your purpose is, is personal expansion at this point. I definitely see evidence of that. You are on a mission. And right now, your goal is personal expansion. Ask yourself, how can I be more intentional with my choices and live a life that's in alignment with with my purpose, not by feeling other people's feelings, mm -mm, right? <laughs> you got to rise above that. And like, look, I'm focused on personal expansion. Of course you are. When this came out, I'm like, of course, Sag is ruled by Jupiter. All that planet wants to do is expand. That's your main influencing planet. So like you're fully in alignment with your Jupiter energy right now really being intentional, really focusing on expansion. The how is the now. What is your intuition been trying to tell you? Everyone is on their own journey. How can you focus more on your own path? God, can you guys hear that? It's like, it's so loud outside. It's like buffalo are hurting through the neighborhood right now. I can't get away from this noise. We're just gonna have to work through it, sorry. So listen to your intuition. You do have a scorpionic influence right now, which really taps into the intuition. You need to stay in the present moment and stay focused right now. Tap into your intuition about what's happening around you that's going to take you in the right direction. And just remember that everyone is on their own journey. I feel like some of you really are saying to a person or maybe to more than one person, look, I'm here for you, but like, I am really busy. I'm tired. I'm doing stuff. I can't be dragged into your BS. Like you're on your journey, but I'm on mine. You won't be able to take everybody with you where you're going, Sag. Okay. But you don't, you're not gone yet, right? You just say to other people around you, look, stay in the present moment with me. Let's get it done. We're creating our own future here. The past is over. Like, the how is the now, okay? Like, let's do the damn thing. That's what I hear you doing. Solar system influences for the week of March 4th. Scorpio is coming out, the moon is coming out, and Uranus is coming out. Catalyst or challenge is the seventh house. Ooh, the 10th house is down here. This is about commitment. Seventh house is about significant partnerships and long-term commitments. They can be romantic business or family. And 10th house is about what brings us prestige. Usually it's about career advancement or life advancement and a focus on achievements that will bring you into alignment with things that have long lasting commitment and value. Yeah, that's a focus for you right now or for someone around you. Scorpio, the moon, Uranus and the seventh house. Okay. I'm feeling equal 50-50, like half of you, you yourself are in this energy, but for the rest of you, the other half of you that this resonates for, I kind of really feel like this might be the energies of someone else that you need to be aware of. Spirit's trying to make you feel aware of it, but let's talk about how this is for you. So scorpionic energy, this constellation's influencing you. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. There's Libra here and also Aquarius. You could be dealing with some of those signs this week. But Scorpio is kind of different than your energy in that they kind of pull back and observe, whereas Sag will just jump right in and start being creative, dynamic, solution-focused. Scorpio kind of pulls back. This energy is very intense, and it's very masterful and thoughtful, and it's very magnetic, but it's also secretive and possessive. Scorpio, I have some Scorpio in my chart. 
no offense to us scorpionic people, but we can be a little lurky. <laughs> like we lurk a little bit. We're also suspicious. Um, we don't trust easily. Scorpio is like trust no bitches. Um, some of you are going to be very intuitive this week. Scorpio can smell opportunity and also smell bullshit like from a mile away. You're going to be very instinctual this week. I also think that some of you really don't want to give away your trade secrets. You're going to you're going to be possessive of your own knowledge. You're going to want credit taken for your work. You you want to take credit for your own work this week and what you do. I also get the sense that you do not want anyone plagiarizing you or copying you. You're sensing something around you and you're just going to watch with Scorpio and the moon. You're tapping into your more sensitive ways of picking up on things. You, your emotions might fluctuate quite a bit this week, though, Sag, and that might make you pull back a little bit. That's OK. To all things, there is a season. Like if you're in that moon energy and you're feeling emotional and you're feeling moody, tap into it. But keep in mind, when the moon is influencing us, these are passing transient emotions and emotional states of being are not they're temporary they're not permanent things might not be as they seem watch out for illusion or delusion okay there might be some illusion at play also i think you're picking up that something is about to change there is potential for sudden change and enlightenment and an awakening this could be happening in any area of your life. So when Uranus comes out, allow yourself to be surprising and allow yourself to be surprised. Some of you are sensing that, is a, that a change is coming and it has to do with some kind of a significant partnership, either that you yourself are in or perhaps someone around you is in. But you, it's like there's no evidence yet on the surface, you can just sense it and feel it. Now, that's for some of you. For others of you, you have a person around you that's sort of hiding out in the shadows. They're operating only by, they're only going by feel. They're only going by feeling. That's not the wrong way to go, but I don't think they have enough facts. I think that they are waiting for something to change. I think that they are curious to see what's going to happen maybe with you and a relationship that you're in. They may want to be in a relationship with you. I also get the sense that some of you are in a partnership with a person who's a little bit paranoid and they think that something crazy is about to happen, whether it's about to or not. So make sure you're communicating with people that you care about so that they're not imagining worst case scenarios because you definitely got someone around you that's all up on their head and in their feelings. So about relationship, distance, you or your partner may be physically or emotionally distant right now. Spy came out. That came out for Libra as well. It came out in their extended. Someone's got their eye on you. You, you or someone else is doing research about sexuality. Someone might be figuring themselves out, but there's distance between the two of you. They're spying. There's keeping tabs about the sexual nature and the sexual tension between the two of you. I also have vacation at the bottom of the deck. Guardian, there you are, the guardian angel. That's you. You're the angel. Vacation, you'll be traveling soon. I'm just going to say it straight up, Sag. Some of you are in a partnership with a person that thinks anytime you go on vacation or you go anywhere or you travel that you might be hooking up with other people because a sexual vacation, but then spy and distance. If any of you were going to meet a person for a rendezvous, someone else might be keeping tabs on you that you don't want knowing about it. So like if you're communicating with someone at work, keep all that shit like off your work computer. <laughs> like don't use the work phone or the work computer to communicate with romantic or sexual partners like someone else might come across that they might I'm also hearing that someone may uncover something about you that they misinterpret yeah misinterpret they might take it the wrong way 
protecting your privacy is important right now. But I feel like someone around you, just because you're distant, might suddenly get paranoid and keep tabs on you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And here's why. Because the person in your energy, here's, here's what's going on with them. I'm insecure. I keep tabs on you. I don't trust you. Okay. Here's your energy. I laughed. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is so Sag. This is so Sagittarius. Smooth sailing, oblivious. Why is this important? <laughs> not that you're oblivious, like you're not idiots. You're not oblivious people. But I've always noticed about Sagittarians. I've studied you guys carefully because my North Node's in Sag. I'm supposed to try to be more like you. I notice with Sag, it's not on y'all's radar unless it has to be. You'd prefer to be oblivious to drama and things that you do not think are important. You're like, look, I I'm fine. I'm just sailing along here. The ocean is tumultuous. I navigate it as best I can, but I'm sailing smooth and I am oblivious to whatever the hell you're talking about and I don't know why this is important. So you're placing importance on different things. You need to know that. What's important to you is not the same thing that's important to someone else. At the bottom of the deck is I see potential. What's interesting about this to me is I think the potential that you're focusing on, you see a different kind of potential than this person does. This person sees the potential for different things, okay? You're not on the same page. It's like almost like your two ships passing in the night. So the overall energy of someone around you is the eight of pentacles. The way they feel is the moon. They see you as temperance. Of course they do. That's you. What you need to know or your advice is the eight of wands. So written communication. It's also possible that someone wants something to move very, very quickly, but they might not be sending out messages to you. They might be sending out messages to a lot of people. The eight of wands is here twice. So really watch communication, how you're communicating, when and where you're communicating, the speed in which you're moving, because that's a catalyst or a problem. It's what you need to know. And the final outcome is the nine of swords. Someone is stressed out. It is not you. Let's just cut to your overall energy first. I usually do this at the end, but I'm going to do it first. Here's you, Sagittarius. You see yourself as the magician right now, getting it done. You are not hiding behind a curtain right now. You are pulling together your resources. You're like a mad scientist right now. You're manifesting. You're making it up as you go along. You're demonstrating things to other people. The magician is someone that's like really discovering their power and really going for it. Again, that teaching and learning, you're probably learning a lot kinetically right now, like through the process of trial and error. But the way you're feeling is the Ten of Pentacles. You are here to create your karmic empire. You want all Ten Pentacles. That is a card associated with marriage and long-term commitment. But just in general, like focused on money, resources, finances, long-term financial stability, you're very focused on the Pentacle realm health, wealth, time, and money, and your action is the Eight of Pentacles. I'm busy. Don't forget to look up at your accomplishments, Sag. Busy, busy, busy. And you clearly have an agenda. I wanted to know what your Eight of Pentacles was, and it's the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star. Yep. This is the potential you see. I think you're doing two things at once this week. I think you're really busy, but I do think you're in a cooperative mode, like you're cooperating. I think you're being recognized and rewarded. You may have a decision to make, like a practical choice you're trying to make about how to get to this place of stardom, freedom, feeling good. The star is often popular. They have star quality. The magician and the star, you have star quality this week. You have the chance to really stand out. Some of you are trying to decide like what to put your work towards though. Like where will I be more recognized for what I bring to the table? Pick the uh, pick collaborations that are with like-minded people who are making similar practical choices to yours. But it's like, you've got all your balls in the air. You're doing your thing. Someone else, they don't trust you. They're keeping tabs on you. They're super insecure. So the Eight of Pentacles here, you're the Eight of Pentacles too, but clarifying this is the Page of Pentacles, the world and the Seven of Swords. 
hang on, let me do the next round too, and I'll tell you what I see. And the way they feel is the moon. They're confused. They're emotional. They lack clarity. Clarifying this is the Page of Swords, Eight of Pentacles again, and the Eight of Wands. So because these cards came out, I don't trust you. I keep tabs on you. I think that someone might be spying on you. I, I mean, we did have a spy card. Again, watch your emails, watch your text messages, who's reading them and when. It might be a good time to change your passwords. Um, someone might be sending you messages that you're either ignoring or you're too busy for. They don't know why. I also think this person might be somewhat passive aggressive. Again, watch out for people stealing your ideas too. Because this looks like someone finds something on the World Wide Web. Sometimes the world can be the World Wide Web. They might also look at the last message you sent them. But this guy lifts ideas from other people. So watch out for people plagiarizing, stealing your ideas. They're confused. I feel like someone is really looking over your shoulder. They're also waiting to hear from you. They're curious to know more. But they have their own little weird agenda is what I'm hearing. Okay. Your agendas do not 100% align either. Because here's you, your temperance. And again, it's not that you're like oblivious as in you guys don't notice what's going on around you. But that's kind of cold shoulder. Sagittarius is always saying, dude, let me know when I really need to have a strong reaction to something. Otherwise, I'm in my own little world focusing on my magic, right? <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're like, whatever. You're cool as a cucumber. No one sees you sweat. Clarifying this is the Four of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. I really feel like this is all you. I feel like you are going to be tired this week. You need a lot of rest. I also think you might feel somewhat overwhelmed by this person, by other people. It's like everyone's coming at you all at once and being like, when are you getting back to me, Sagittarius? And you're like, dude, I am carrying all this shit on my own. I feel like some of you are carrying quite a bit. You might need a little bit of an assistant. This person might want to help you with something and you're like, nope, no thank you. I've got it. Just leave me alone. You know, I think you're just busy doing other things. Here's what you need to know or your advice with the Eight of Wands. Here's the messages again. Clarifying this is the moon again with the devil and the Knight of Wands. This is like sexting um, with the devil and the Knight of Wands or like someone might try to entice you with something kind of sexual. Um, Someone may think that you are sending sexual messages to other people. I really honestly think that some of you have um, a partner that suspects you're cheating on them when you are not cheating on them. Like you're busy, you're traveling, you're working, like you're doing your thing. If they're trying to tempt you away from a serious relationship that you're already in, they're going to do that. They're going to try to tempt you. It's not going to work. But if you're in a serious relationship with someone, they might not trust you. They may even send you messages to try to see if you'll respond. This person might try to test you because they don't trust you, which is kind of ridiculous, but people do do that. And then this final outcome is the Nine of Swords. Someone's really anxious and nervous and worried. Clarifying this is the High Priestess, the Seven of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Here's the High Priestess again with the Ace of Swords. Someone really wants their... They have an intuitive hunch. They want to get to the truth. But this Four of Swords, I think, is you, like... They might have bad dreams. They might have gotten an intuitive download. Some of you are going to get intuitive hits that make you realize something. Maybe this is your energy where you find something out and you're like, oh, shit. Like my boss and a coworker are having an affair. Oh, my God. Or maybe you suspect that. Okay, you could have a suspicion of someone else. But I feel like this is someone else around you that's listening to their intuition. And all their intuition is doing is leading them 
to confusion, imagining a million possibilities, and it gets them all trapped in their head. That's not solution focused or productive, right? Someone is suddenly really anxious and worried and nervous and they're struggling to see something. And you're like, I'm sorry, why is this important? I see potential for good things. And this person sees potential for distrust. That's, yeah, that's, that's tough. And this person, the high priestess is all over this reading. So some of you are dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Libra, I have Capricorn here, your energy. So this person sees themselves as the high priestess. This person is over here being very quiet and tapping into their own intuition. Why do we do that? Why do we sit down and rely upon our psychic intuition. It's because we don't have enough evidence in front of us to make us feel safe and secure about the truth. So we tap in. And that's why I think this person might be the person in the Scorpio energy, because they don't trust something. But their intuition is leading them to confusion. We always, always want the high priestess to go to like this ace of swords or you know, the sun or a breakthrough of clarity, but that's not happening. Their action is the eight of swords. This is them. They're the eight of swords. They're the eight of swords. Like they're all trapped in their head about something. There's something difficult for them to see. So when I clarified why they're doing that, I always clarify the action card. I have the page of swords, the page of pentacles and the devil. Okay. So you might have sent them something kind of sexy and racy. Um, maybe if it's not sexy and racy, it could be just a little alternative in thinking a little different than what they're used to talking about. And that might, they might misinterpret it. But I also think like they're looking at something and what they see, like, they're, I think this person just imagines that you're going to do bad things. They're looking, they're trying to figure something out here. The Page of Pentacles will frequently take something apart and put it back together a zillion times. But the more and more they do that, the more insecure they feel, the more stuck they feel, the more obsessed they become. I mean, these two are chained and bound to each other and not in a fun, kinky way, right? Like there's something that they're struggling to open up to and see clearly here. So again, can't stress it enough, watch communication. But Sag, I really feel like there's someone around you that is either using the wrong tactics to try to get your attention or they're imagining something about you that isn't true. They see potential for something I think negative, whereas you're focused more on the positive. So keep doing what you're doing, but again, maybe communicate clearly with someone around you because there's a lack of trust, there's suspicion, and someone is, things are not as they seem. So I am gonna do an extended to clarify a little bit more deeply, like what, what this person's got going on, how they see you, more advice from spirit, and a future prediction between the two of you to see if it could help you. If you feel like you need that, the link to the extended will be at the top of the description below. My link to my website's a little further down to book private readings, okay? That's this week, Sagittarius. Hope it resonates and I hope it helps. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.